She has some great jump attacks, but in the original game, her walking was somewhat on the slow side. And a lot of Catwoman players, uh, you know, they had some trouble in some matches. So, <laughs> I like how you say some Catwoman, some Catwoman players. players. You're talking about yourself. Her yes. forward walk has completely changed. It is now significantly faster. So okay. that definitely helps out her mobility, which makes sense because she's a rushdown character. You know, instead of saying her, you should say my. <laughs> I, I speak for all Catwomen. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Cool. That's that's something I'm sure. They I want. call our player base the litter. Mm, uh, all right, Steve. Let's. Uh, what does she do? <laughs> what does she do? So as I said, she's a long range character, and one of the changes we made to is her forward one, which is a great attack, is now a mid instead of an overhead. So while her mobility is better, her mix ups are not quite as overpowering as they were before. So this is still a great attack with a lot of range that you can go into a combo. But it's no longer an over an attack. Instead, she's going to have to use this or her new forward three. Ooh. Yeah, she got a new forward three. So she can still use that. She can still use her back one to open you up. But her forward one's not going to be a mix-up tool anymore. It's going to be a range tool. She still has her whip trip. Oops. She still has her great jump two. You just, you just gave away a little surprise. I did. That too. was an accident. And, of course... <laughs> Her back three, which is a low profiling, long range back three attack. I would say it's it's my favorite back three to connect. It is very, very it, fun. It's, to it's very, very, it feels good. She also has uh, some cool mobility options. Her her meter burn roll is not a roll. Look at this. Oh, oh I didn't know that. <laughs> That's We're giggling fun. about everything. That's fun. I'm so happy. Yeah. Like this is like this is not fake. <laughs> I love authenticity. It's one of my favorite things. And Steve, okay, Steve, all right. Stop. Steve is very, very excited right now to a point that I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> and she has a car. All right. She has a new throw as well. Yeah, she has a new throw, which is really cool. You know things are going off the rails when Derek's like, guys, come <laughs> on. Steve, it's too much. <laughs> all right, so, and um, most of her special attacks are back. Her cat dash is back. However, you'll notice she has to use a bar of meter to combo. Now they just get knocked down, but if you use a bar of meter, you get the traditional uh well, way three and everything else. Yeah. Still get the way three. She has her whip attacks, including the anti air one. Uh, I can't jump, you never put me in the control, so. That's because all of the interactions. You're gonna start throwing batterings. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> There we go. Alright, she has her cat stance and the three options from it, the pounce. I, I like how we had to show that. Like people didn't think that would actually hit them out of the air. Right. There are always there new questions. players. There, there are questions. new players who have not experienced the joys of playing Selena and they're interested in that. That's There's true. at least one person That's true. who yeah. didn't know about the pounce. You're right. No, I was talking about the, the air whip. whip. Air whip. Up so whip. now let's up whip. Uh, just keep going. <laughs> <Yes. say. laughs> so let's talk about her new move. Replacing her old cat claws move is the rising claws. Which is Ooh. a big anti-air. Uh, leaping air attack. Now, normally she does not get a combo, but if you meter burn it, it launches, Ooh. and she pops the opponent up. It's like Steve spent hours playing this character. Would you say this is a good wake-up maneuver? That's the big thing. One of the uh, problems with Catwoman in Part 1 is, other than her character power, she did not have a fully invincible wake-up attack. This Rising Claw is, so that's a great change. That's a perfect example of she feels fresh while you know having a lot of her strengths from part one. And let me let me say, remember we had uh, we had Mr. Matt Gilmore on the stream a while back mm -hmm. uh, from from FX. I love the purple cloth. I love the slash. They look so awesome. Yeah. So good job to the FX team on that. So let's go over character power because there's cool. been a lot of speculation about it. It yeah. is back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she still builds scratches for landing moves, including special moves. Oh. There's a chance, every time she lands an attack, she has a random chance of getting a scratch. You can see I'm building them there, right? Yep. And then she has an auto combo that she does when she has scratches. So I'll build, like, two, or three, and then her character power, she does a combo. And this is a brand new combo. It's, it's very different than the one in part one. So it'll have a ton of stuff you can explore. You know, different hit advantage, different damage, different block advantage. And when you have all five, mm -hmm. it's five hits. Ooh, that's fancy. And let's talk about something, too, that, I mean, really big, a big quality of life thing we've mentioned before, but in case you haven't seen it, now in our practice mode, you can actually kind of turn on or change what the character power will do, so you can actually trade with it on. Yes. You don't have to sit there and get all five scratches or two scratches or three, three scratches. You can turn exactly. that on in training yes. and train them. Before this option, I would have to pick a character, control them to do fireballs so she could evade them. 
and then get the scratches. You didn't say that she, her evade was back, by the way. Her evade is back, okay. and the low evade. And she still builds a scratch for successful evade. Another new normal attack, I got sidetracked, is her back two, which is a great, super fast, long range mid. Look at the look at the range of this. And it leads to a full string. You can either go into a combo or you can do the full string. Very cool looking. Very, very good move. Again, it brings up she's a long range melee character. The opponent, she plays her rushdown game from this distance. And that's what makes her so strong. Yep. So, there's even more to her character power. She has the ability to meter burn it now and get even more hits and more combos. Say what? Oh. Bam. Do it again. So this is a great combo winner. A big chunk of damage. Or if you're not good at combos and you're new to the game, you that's can be a good, good at combo this. combo. Yeah, yeah, it's a great combo. You right. can you can just do forward one into it and get very respectable damage. I'll tell you what though, I bet there's a way I could drop that. I bet there is. I I, I, I would find a way, Steve. All right, so let's talk about her super move. That's all with character. Yeah, that's okay. her, that's her character power. Cool. All right. Basically, the more she does, the the better she does at what she does, which is rush down, rush down. The more scratches she gets, and then when she gets a big combo going. It's her time to, to drop the combo. To drop the combo <laughs> and to go for the coup de gras. Coup de gras. Do you have anything? Do you have any uh, swaggerific things in the corner? I, I mean, I can do the classic uh, combo. Let's, let's see the classic. Oh, yeah. Throwback. Throwback Thursday. Yep. It works. No. Oh. Was that it? <laughs> there we go. That was pretty steep. Uh. <laughs> didn't do much damage, but it looked amazing. It did a decent yeah, it did, amount. It did, it did. All right, so her super attack has a really interesting uh, start. She actually leaps up, does a dive kick. Well, first we'll watch it, then we'll talk about it. And she can actually control how far she travels. She can do a long one. She can do short one and then the medium ones, which I showed. So this is a great super move. This is one of those super moves where if you have all bars and a meter, the opponent really has to be careful about, for example, throwing batterings from this distance. Nope, it wasn't really worried. Uh oh. Nope. Well, that missed. But <laughs> <laughs> you get the point. There's also setups you can do. You can actually go over the opponent, or you can do a short one. You're getting up. Right. You can use it as a cross-up, for example. Gotcha. Can we, uh, uh, the stream is asking if we can go through the transition on the stage. Can we? Sure. Can we do that? Yeah, I think we can do that. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't want to do this. We can't. They have spoken. I guess if they want it. And please do a full combo into it as well. That sort of MC Escher like yes. building in there. It's really cool. And we are now in the Rock of Eternity. Nice. All right. I think so. I'm this last movie. Big props to the lighting kind of. Oh, yeah. Kind of this, this level doesn't look It looks great. incredible. Awesome. So I believe you guys send it back to the way. Yeah, we might as well. All right. Should we do it? <laughs> I, let you, let you do I can't it. believe we're doing this. I don't think we got approval for this. Yeah. I, but this, they, they wanted it. They wanted it. The fans wanted it, we give it. It's true. All right, so how about we look at some loadouts? Yeah, okay. you, I am, uh, I'm guessing you've picked some cool stuff. I, I absolutely love her gear. Yeah. I have spent a obscene amount of time in the customizable character menu looking at her gear. I will say a lot of people, uh, oh wow, on, on Twitter, on Reddit, on the forums, they always want the coolest gear, and you look like you've done some cool stuff. Yeah, here. I I love her hood and her customizable whips and her shoulder. So that's her accessory, her whip. Yes, is that, that right? is. There's many different whip types, including one of my favorites in the next loadout. Mm -hmm. That's okay. a little surprise. So right. we have two uh, abilities here. We have air cat dash. It's basically her normal cat dash, but she does it in the air. So this her air mobility is also great because you have jump two, jump one. Now if she jumps and the opponent, for example, does a battering. No, I should have done the battering. You should have done the battering. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's a headbutt. There we go. She can go in. Oh. And you can meter burn it at any time, just like the regular one. So from full screen, you can go in and meet him. Or you can actually go here, close, do the first one, then meter burn it when you see that it hits. So this is just an extra way for her to have even better air mobility than before. And then she has another cool one, which is the low whip, which is a new special move where she hits them low. 
and comes in. That's sick. And I absolutely love the meter. Oh. That's attitude. She has a lot of personality. She does. She's sassy. <laughs> Remember the time I beat you twice in a row with Bane? I do remember that. I do remember that. Have that, we told that story on stream before? I feel like we tell it every month, but it needs to, it's legendary. Yeah, I beat Steve twice in a row. He got real salty. That's the story. That was an amazing story. That's like, a you great story. you want to say it again? I'll wait till next week. Okay, fair enough. It's def that was definitely the maddest I've ever been about Bane. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. All right. So this definitely complements her game. If it's an opponent who is very good at keeping her out and walking back, like, say, Aquaman, or even Deadshot, we showed earlier, the low whip will keep them on their toes and, and do really significant damage. They're not going to be able to just walk away. You're not walking away at all. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I was too worried about throwing better. Awesome. All right, so loadout three. And this is one of you that you did some cool stuff here. I absolutely love her whip here. My favorite part about this was when we were setting it up, we were going through the colors and the, the shaders and stuff, and Steve's like, does this one look cool? And I was like, yeah, it looks really cool. I can't tell. I'm not, I'm, I'm, they don't, yeah, I'm, I'm actually colorblind. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Awesome. All right. Like, Is it, does it look like the other one? I was like, no, not at all, Steve. It was great. All right, so here I gave her the ability Cat Call, where she summons her cat, and then the cat attacks, and they get opened up for a combo. So. This move is incredibly useful. It's a two-slot move. She can summon the cat, and then she's free to move. So what will happen is she can summon the cat. Batman now has to block, and then she can go in. So, Derek, can you block? I can try. And now you're free to do jump-ins. You're free to do whip trip. You're free to do four and three. Whatever you can think of, this basically tells the opponent, you need to either sit still, or you're going to get scratched in the face. And then if you get scratched, you get a combo. And let's be honest, it absolutely looks amazing and is super fun. And the cat meows when she comes out. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then this whip, you're a big fan of this whip. I'm a big fan of the colored whip. I personally like the uh, neon pink whip. Mm -hmm. That's my, my personal, I have what I call ideal Catwoman, which is my personal loadout. <laughs> and it has the neon pink whip okay. and, and uh, claws. Got you. So tell me, uh, what color does this Catwoman look like to you? This looks red to me. Okay, you're, you're close. Yeah. yeah. I guess close, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, can we trust that he's colorblind? I don't know if we can. Okay. So that's Catwoman. I think awesome. fans of that played her in part one would be very, very happy. She's very similar, but uh, with some really fun tweaks that uh, really play into what made her fun to play in part one. What's going on, guys? It's Super here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe or check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.